All right, we're in Cox's Bazaar. Uh, this is on the peninsula of the southern part of Bangladesh. And the dynamic here is really interesting because this is really a tourist area. Uh, there's an amazing beach. In fact, the longest beach in all of Asia is about half a mile away. But yeah, this is the place where one million Rohingya refugees have found as home. They were endured genocide from the Burmans. Gotta love that, huh? From the Burmese military. It feels like a happy place, but I'm telling you, friends, there's a million people have, who have endured incredible tragedy just a few miles away from here. That's where we're going today, in Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh. So right now we're here in uh, the middle of a Rohingya refugee camp. It's really quite overwhelming when you think about what these uh, people have endured. It is some of the most tragic stories that we've heard um, as the Burmese military pushed them out of their home in Myanmar, uh, which is not far from here, literally just a couple of miles away. And they fled here. Uh, now, three years ago, this would be standing in the middle of a forest. And they've literally carved out of the hillside uh, just to make room for homes. So this, this would be one of the last places you would pick to build a settlement of any kind. But because of the peace and the safety that they're finding here, the Rohingya have gathered together here uh, under the protection of the UN and they're given the basic necessities of survival. That's it. They have water, they have food, they have shelter, and that's it. They're eager to go home. Uh, they're eager to get back to Myanmar, but because of the um, just the, the lack of they hate them there and they want they want them out they want them they're not welcome back and so this is going to be their home for some time uh, but we're here we're trying to encourage them uh bringing water filters and treasures and that's why we're here with the rohingya and all these precious people uh that uh, jesus loves and we love them and uh i know you do as well so thanks for being with world mission and praying for the rohingya